hanging out with Colby Herzog here in uh, it's kind of Hastings Mallory area. We just went over the bridge over 81, uh, kind of near 49 if you know the area right where basically just a little bit east of Central Square is where we are. Colby Herzog is one of the few people you can probably count them on one hand that actually raced with me back in 2011. We actually fought out on the racetrack this past season. He went out to Moose Mountain. More working on his kid stuff. That's his car, uh, son Tyler's car that he's leaning on right now. He did do six or seven races, got some second places, but he's got something else that's going on this year. Colby, I haven't had a chance to talk to you since the show. How have you been? Uh, you know, just trying to stay healthy, Doug. You know, this weather is just up and down. So True. biggest thing is just trying to get his stuff done and uh, getting offers in every different direction. So it's kind of good. All right, we'll get to the offer part here in a second. Look like the carts are good, are they? Yeah, uh, I got my, my sons next to me and my nephews is behind me. They're mm -hmm. pretty much ready to go, just a final setup and one of them, and we're going racing. So you could race them this weekend if there was something to go to. Yeah, definitely. Good. What is that feeling like? Because you know me, I always encourage people to race with their kids if they can. Describe that feeling for somebody who hasn't done it. Um, it's definitely probably the best feeling ever, even getting before getting a win. Um, we've been over to a friend's track before, and – before we never let him go out with us adults and then as he got better we let him go out there and he started spanking us adults really <laughs> so the feeling to go out there and run with your kid mm -hmm. yeah you can't do it at an actual racetrack right. but in a friend's backyard it's fair game nice and uh just to watch him grow and get better at each time on the track it's the better feeling kind of thing do you have a plan in place as to what you'd like him to do or no well last year uh he really surprised us last year. He's the youngest in his division. He went out there and won the championship. Um, this year, it's just we want to get better at certain tracks that we were down at. Um, so we're going to do a little bit more traveling to Weedsport, run maybe the Swego races that come up there, and who knows what brings towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Has he done the indoor stuff, like in December and that kind of stuff yet, or no? Um, last year, he did the indoor race uh, down in Norwich. Um, that was oh, yes. definitely uh, definitely tricky. You know, we were new to the carts, and we drove for someone. And he won the heat race, but the feature just threw us out a curveball. And uh, he did all right, but I think he finished second. Um, but then we ran the indoor race that Jeremy Corcoran had, and he made a few mistakes after okay. leading it for uh, most of the race. So mm -hmm. he learned from that, and now he knows not to screw around. How old is he? Uh, he just turned eight. Yeah, so there's plenty of time. So do you see him driving a four-cylinder or a sportsman or something like that someday? Uh, he better start mowing he's lawns saying, or he's something. Saying, yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he says that, but he better start mowing the lawns or something yeah, around here. For but... hundred bucks a job, and, and, and maybe, right? So. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he definitely he says he's going to race. Okay. But, he, but I told him, I said, as long as he stays good in school and everything and out of trouble, then you'll find a way. Yeah. Nice. How about you? I was over at Chris Mackey's. He oh, mentioned Tom's your name. Man. Or Tom, excuse yeah. me. Yeah, he, I, I still do that all the time. I don't know why. Sorry, Tom. But um, he mentioned there's a car in there that you're supposed to get into? Uh, yeah. He, he wants me to drive his Toyota uh, that he just recently got back. He mm -hmm. wants me to drive that a few times. I got to lose a little bit of weight. <laughs> you and me both. Just so I can fit comfortable <laughs> in there. I fit in there, but it's tight. Um, yeah, he's talking maybe the first race at Brewerton because he's got some uh, graduation things with his daughter going on for college. Oh, cool. So it's all up in the air. Mm -hmm. um, maybe once. He <laughs> says definitely more than once, but who knows what he Why wants. is there hesitation on your part? Do you mind me asking? I'd really just want to focus on my son, you know, okay. and then help my nephew out, you know, mm -hmm. just getting them both going and rolling in the right direction because I will be at the track every week. Okay. But – it's totally different from being at the track and helping people instead of being behind the wheel. That's true. That, so, well, are, would you be like a suitcase racer or would you have to be there a couple nights during the week to work on it? Or do uh, you know? Either way, I like helping people out. Okay. Like, um, I'll actually be at Brewerton. Uh, Alan Fink's supposed to be running 358 this year. Oh, there. I know that. So I'll be helping him out here, there. Uh, Matt Kitts, I'll be full time helping with the mod light. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to be around. Yeah. It's, just if someone like Tom called me up, hey, yeah, you want to drive? What's what's your plans? And so it'll be a week to week decision almost is almost what it sounds like. Yeah, to Tom's me, right? been a good friend for years, yeah. and if he needs something, I'm and I have it, or if I can help him get it, I'm mm -hmm. trying to be there for him. Well, I would imagine though. I mean, heck, back in 2011 when you and I were 
riding around in a four cylinders over there. It's got to be fun to go back and do that again. Yeah, last year I ended up getting a. I sold one of my carts and actually traded a guy for a four cylinder. Oh. I got in it. It was a real drive Mustang, and I didn't fit comfortable in it at all. Okay. I I brought it to the track. I got it on Thursday. Brought it to the track Friday. Sold it at the track Friday night. Because yeah, if you're not comfortable, that's everything. Yeah, I didn't even run. I ran hot laps and then pulled in, and I the guy was, was there like, right? I want it. And I said, buy it. Great. And he, <laughs> he bought it that night and brought it home that night. Okay. So I, I didn't even own a, another car within well, 48 hours. Okay. Your suit still fit? Uh, yeah. Mine I, was I, tight. It fit, but it was tight. Uh, I had it made a little bit bigger. so That was smart. Yeah. Same with mine, too. I did the same thing. So, you know, yeah. And right here in this uh, center region, below yeah. the Velocita logo is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we gotta work you know, it, it, it's crazy, <laughs> but I just can't get rid of the, the winter uh, belly. Yeah, it happens so, you know? so so slowly over time, but then getting rid of it seems to take forever. So uh, yeah, it's never let me going know away. when you're going to race. All right, so make sure you shoot me a text or something if you know you're going to go that night, and I'll try to make sure that I I get there. Because again, like I said, I, I, I raced against Colby a lot. I did a crisscross on him back in the day in hot laps, and I remember the the clay went across my helmet. I remember sitting there going. That was so cool. So, <laughs> yeah. so I hope to see you back, man. Seriously. I, I appreciate it. You know, I got my duffel bag right there with oh, uh, yeah. He's ready. all my gear. Brand new helmet still sitting in the bag. So it's uh, last year I made an appearance in the Sportsman with uh, Jamie and uh, Carla's oh, okay. 19th Hour Rising. Oh, you or did? Or the 13th Hour Rising car, yep. Okay. Yeah, because they have two, right? Yep, so. they had two. But Brandon uh, took some time off from Saturday night, so I was running that a few times. For nice. Me. So never say never, right? Yep. All right. Good to see you guys hit the blue E down there. You can subscribe, turn on your notifications. This is a super thanks if you want to help us financially. So, Colby, always good to see you, man. Good luck with everything, and uh, I can't wait to see you back on the track this year. Thank you.